Got another one here today. They say it's froze up outside. So we're gonna see what we can find and see what we can maybe do for them. Let's see here. Oh lordy. Good lord have mercy. Why is that thing tilted like that? Oh, no fan motor, huh? It may, I don't think it's in defrost. Ooh, me, it's probably got it caught. Sure, it's hot, I don't know that. Let me see that. Uh, hmm, trying to get this bit off. Initiate defrost in this bad boy just for right now. But I'm telling you, it's not in defrost. So, sure, I mean, oh, well, it's not going in the defrost. That's and it may be one of the problems the defrost board is bad. But some of these old remnants, you gotta jump them like that and leave it junk. See here. Let me see where the. That thing's just not going into defrost. So, let's see here. We need to de-energize our reversing valve. That's a lot of heat for that. And we're also, oh, that's what we're going to do too. Just because. Let's look at the rest right there for right now. See one. We'll put it in defrost, be letting it try to defrost for right now. See if there's <gasps> water spray. Sure ain't one on this side. There's a clock over here. There ain't another water hose over here. Yeah, there's not one, so. Let's see here, let me get my little screwdriver. I'm missing, I like having that thing, but I ain't got a clip on it, so I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it if I don't keep it in my shirt pocket. If I keep it in my shirt pocket. A minute to do so. Oh, one. I think it sure was. A... Ooh, you can feel how cold that is. So. Just take this and close it.
and that fan motor may hunt it out. It's hard to tell because I see the ice on it. Can't even get that out from there. That side's okay, but that side, I guess. I don't know. I guess if she, if the roof was leaking right there, I mean, it's going to drain right there. She got gutters, but gutters don't mean that it's going to drain every time. So it could be that. Just that run off when it, we had a good rain the other day and it's probably and it's been cold enough to freeze and i'm gonna say this right here don't get much sun i want to say that defrost board's bad let me go i'm gonna go get my so much steam now but it's just since in the like two minutes it took me to walk around there and fill that up i probably could use it good service but that little bit of that ain't gonna be that's only I don't like about this that coil guard that's on here is kind of too thick so we're gonna see if we can set this back up again need to get me a little tripod Actually, it's a little bit of a difference. It's a little bit in there. There's that usually shakes some of that stuff loose. perfect little cubes about make icicles of them do that just you know I'll do I'll get a little jar and then some of that stuff it's loose already it'll break loose real fast but let's um throw that some more water and we'll try to rinse on here and get the rest of this off even though it looks like it's doing a good job on its own most things I just make it right in there what it looks like we will get another bucket and we'll just throw on that now let's hook this thing back up and have a grab that Well, it looks like we actually do have a bad fan motor. I don't know what I can't tell by that. Let's get something else. Uh. It may just be a bad capacitor too, so. Sure spun free a second ago, so let's get our capacitor and such out. I don't know for sure. 
but I'm thinking that this one actually has these plugs. Let's see what it is, I think. to make sure let's let's see if I can see what it says Put that down in here okay it's hard to tell but So that's good. So. Always did like these old remnants. And these things are practically bulletproof. dozens there are around around here. Reading kind of weird. I can't even read on that. Let me, let me hook that. Five. Well, that's good. So looks like we got a bad fan motor and maybe a defrost board because that sure should have cut that, sent that in a defrost a second ago. But we'll check that again. And now that we got that. Let's see here. Take these other two screws out in the front. We'll have us a motor in our hands. Looks like one of them already fell. Piece of ice still there. This thing is out. Oh, 
things and work them out like they're supposed to. They get you know, people zip time, they tie them up like tie it in. Oh yeah. You can tell that's bad. Let's get these screws out and let's get this lady a motor. Well, I got a battery in the van, so as a matter of fact, let's just carry this whole thing back with us and we'll change it to van. All right, so I wish I had a chest mount or something. You could kind of get a better idea of what I'm doing, but it's hard to tell. Again, I'm gonna do that now. I guess I can. So I wish I had a tripod. So let's see here. I don't drop my things. try to twist that out. So I guess I'm gonna have to take that start capacitor out just to get that one.
Well, that does look a little puffy, but that ain't, that's not too bad. I'll show you something while I, if you ever doubt what the capacitor size is on a motor, on these, on most Copeland compressors, they have them. If not, if you got the Copeland app, you just scan the barcode of the compressor, just type in the serial number or whatever, and it'll tell you you all the information you need to know about them. Hmm. Always a good idea to do this. And I know I'm not the best about checking it every single time, but it's always a good idea to do it. We were good. We'll put this to where we can, whoever it is that comes back, I can, whoever want to check it. We can always get to it. And then at least just kind of poke your head down there and say, oh, it's a 50 and a 7 and a half. Okay. Because some people, they'll put them on and they just, they'll turn them back right the opposite way. And then you got to take the whole thing out just to check it. If you want to know exactly what it's supposed to be. But fortunately, we're not going to do that. What's holding that off? The cabinet was just a little down, I guess. Now, go ahead and be hooking some of these wires back up. When I was talking about wire colors and such, I mean, Ream uses purple. They've used purple on their Hermetic for a long time. I mean, a very long time. And they still do, as a matter of fact. So, there's that. Now, the rest of it I'll have to hook up on a more ice just rail. this is going to be a common as well. All right, now here comes our fan motor. Use, absolutely useless right here. The reason why is because that brown and white stripe is the exact same thing as this yellow wire exact same thing now i mean sometimes i will use it if it's a different size and i don't have like a dual like that and i sometimes i'll do that and sometimes i don't it just depends on the application most times i like to hook it up back the way it would kind of came it's also why you'll see me do it every time is yank the ground wire off a motor some I've heard people say, well, that wire, they put that wire there for a reason. Well, it could short out. Well, guess what? That compressor don't have a ground wire on it, and the original fan motor didn't have a ground wire on it. Why are you going to put one on the Universal? It's tied to this frame. The cabinet or the frame, whatever you want to call it. it. don't matter to me. I like pulling these little things off, too, just if I'm wanting to make this look original. I mean, why, you know, of course, I mean, most people will walk up and see that it's got four wires sticking out of it. I mean, the only reason I don't cut the brown with the white stripe off short is just I don't do it because I don't I don't ever want to leave myself without options. There, there's 
like that. So what I do, I'll cut that joker off, just the front of the back, stick it back up through the hole. And I've got a zip tie with me, so I'll tie it up. Cut them things short that way the insulated part of it goes up in there a little more and it has a little more bite to it I don't really look like I've got the I should do that hook it back right there but I'm not going to we'll hook it back to the contactor because it's the same difference Really and truly, you about don't even need a zip tie because the wires are short enough that they're not going to fall or nothing. So, check that out. Because this right here is the same as putting it right there, so we're not going to even worry about that and same with that. So, I actually have been places where people, they don't even hook it back to the defrost board, they'll hook it back to the contactor. But anyway. Well, let's fire this bad boy up. Actually, let's get some of the stuff off the top of my unit. Let's fire this bad boy up. Well, that's your way to fire it up. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna zip tie that because the wires are short enough that they're not even, they're not hanging bad low. The original ones, you know, they had them zip tied up down here, but we're gonna leave it like that, I think. I mean, he might, we might put one right here or something just to keep them together, but even then they're not going to fall out because they're just right there. So, so. good and cold. The liquid line sure is warm. I know that. So I think it, I think that's why I heard this way took care of. All right. Good God, that scared the hell out of me. I guess that ice broke loose up in here and it got slung up. Why that's kicked up, I like that. It makes you wonder if it's this wasn't level right or something. And all the weight's in the back, but I can't even stand on that. I'm not even budging that. So. Let's get this stuff packed up and hit the road. <laughs> 